watching Dubai this week, and we're on our way to the very first Rolls-Royce private office outside the United Kingdom. The facility is for VVIP guests only, and I'm curious to find out what exactly they offer. There's only one way to find out. Cesar, thanks so much for having us today in the first Rolls-Royce private office outside of the UK, which brings me to the question, why have you chosen Dubai? Why have you chosen Dubai? Actually, it's a very straightforward answer because on the one hand, we have listened to our clients who asked us whether we can get closer to them on the one hand, but on the other hand, also because out of this region, we're getting the highest bespoke levels globally. So You've been very hush-hush about this whole project. Uh, what are clients going to get here? And for those who won't be getting an invitation, give our audience a bit of a taste of what they can expect. The audience or our clients who are going to be invited to come to the private office, they're going to be basically having, I'm going to call it in the first instance, kind of an interview with our de bespoke designer and our bespoke client ex uh, experience manager to understand, for them to understand what exactly the client is looking for. Because sometimes clients come with an idea and then that idea needs to be translated into a design, and then from a design into a rendering, and then an agreement on colors, on paints, on leather, and then at the end of the day, create a commission for them. And you've invested a lot here in technology, and it was very important for you to have a direct line to the UK. Why is that? Absolutely, because on the one hand, we have our design studios are in the UK. So we are here an outpost. We can do quite a lot here, but at the end of the day, for example, if a client wants to see a certain specific wood that we don't have here, we can go, for example, and zoom into the wood shop in good, into the leather shop. We can show them how they do s different things. We can show them different samples of what we have. So they don't need to fly to Goodwood. We can basically show it to them digitally via a live stream into our factory. What are you expecting this will do to the brand, having the private office here in Dubai? I think it's going to elevate it even further when it comes into the luxury world because we are coming close to our clients. We're not asking them to come to us, we are coming to them because we are rendering them more service for them. Our clients are really poor in time. For them, time is money. So they really want to, to be able to speak to us and we see that more and more the clients want to speak directly to us, Rolls Royce, and then find that and make sure that we understand what they want. Is there a community that's created? Because it's very exclusive. You'll never share the names. Yet, there are only few people who have a certain kind, right? So do you see people connecting over Rolls-Royce? Yeah, we see actually a lot of people connecting uh, within Rolls-Royce. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, because many of our clients know each other, it's a community, but on the other hand, we also have what we call Whispers, which is an application that we have, which is only accessible to Rolls-Royce clients. And through that application, through that app, they interact quite intensively among each other. Cesar, thanks so much for having us today. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you.